All right. So an independent bottler, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. We've talked about them before. Um, we're visiting them today. This is the Red Diesel. It's ca Society Cask Number Ninety Three Dot One Hundred Six. Ninety Three is the code for the distillery, which in this case is Glen Scotia. And uh, this is the hundred sixth cask they've had from it, and this is one of two hundred ninety six bottles they got from this cask. Um, so there's only two hundred ninety six of these in the world. Maybe fewer if people have drank them. It is called Red Diesel. It shouldn't work, but somehow it does. A thrilling mix of red fruits, seashore funk, and smoldering <laughs> farmyard. Previously in a bourbon hogshead. <laughs> oh, I'm excited about all of that. Yeah. This is a 13-year-old, 58.4%, so that's cask strength. Uh, it was uh, distilled 21st of March, 2005. Um, first, hill, first fill hogshead export. And it's kind of... Nothing wrong with this stuff. No, that's... Yeah. yeah, I like the shape of this bottle. It's got a nice little skirt at the bottom. Yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. All, all right. right. Now you're going to have to do that for all of us, I think. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops, a little, little more fell out. <laughs> This is, this is where it goes wrong. This is where the episode goes wrong. This is where it goes right. I disagree. This is where the episode goes right. I apologize. <laughs> now you got to even them all off again. <laughs> this is a. It this is how science is, works. This is very definition of a slippery slope right there. Yeah. Ooh, Look at that color. Yeah. yeah. Some nice dark browns in there with so, the amber. Yeah. A port cask. Yeah. Is in there, so it's got some of that. And have you, you have you both had port? Have you had port? I've had port. I have had port. Yeah, yeah. My, my father was a big port man. Yeah. Well, is that is that what that's called? <laughs> port man. I'm the portman. <laughs> I'm from Portland. Does that make me a portman? Oh, I think so. Or am I a Portland portman? Yeah. Are you a Portland portman? <laughs> I was gonna say you're a Portland portman. Portman. And I was like, that's a little mean. That's a little mean. I'm Natalie Portman. Oh. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, that is so interesting. Yeah, I totally get like that. It's like it shouldn't work. Just right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested in what the farmyard is in the, in the taste. That yeah, and like the, the sea, the, what was it called? Like the sea muck or... Sea muck. <laughs> is that yeah. what it said on there? Right? It said like sea muck or... Uh, seashore funk. Seashore funk. Seashore funk. <laughs> seashore funk. <laughs> Something's washed up yeah, on the no. beach there. It's all a tangle of like... <laughs> Vegetation, you're like, I don't know what that is. It's got Sea Muck is a band, I believe. That's not right. yeah. oh. <laughs> Rock on Sea Mucks. <laughs> oh boy, you can smell the diesel though, like right there in the nose. Mm -hmm. I think you know. Oh, and I get that sea funk, like a little, a little bit of salty. oyster or salty yeah. something. Oh, I love that. Wow, that's a that is that is a really remarkable, awesome nose. Now, I haven't tasted it yet. Um, I do feel, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that of the noses of all of them that we've had, this is my favorite nose. It's okay. my favorite nose. Like, this is such an interesting, like, it's different than I think any other scotch I've smelled. Like, it's such an interesting nose. Like, I really, and that means a lot to me because I love the nose. I love it. Ah, it smells so good. What's your house in this one? Are you on, mm -hmm. like, a seashore? You are totally, you are totally, like, on a cliff near the ocean. Or right next to the ocean, like maybe there's no cliff. Maybe you're like right on the right on the beach. I think you might be in you know? a rowboat that's just up on the beach, just just docked right now. Maybe you're. In a, maybe I'm in a houseboat. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, or a lighthouse. Hmm. You guys ever wonder why, like a person in a trailer, it's people are like, yeah, that person's like white trash. But a person like on a houseboat, people are like, oh, you live on a boat. Live on a boat but it's just a trailer. Just in the water. Yeah, yeah, no, it's basically, yeah, it's like a mo motorhome, but on the water. Yeah. yeah. I have said, uh, what else? There's something else I said was kind of like a lighthouse. I actually don't feel like this is a lighthouse because I feel like this is just off of, like, it's, you're on the ocean. It's coastal. Yeah. yeah, but you're not. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, man. Really smooth. It's quite tart. There's a, there's definitely um, a nice fruity quality there. What is that? That's um, it's like almost blood orange. Like I don't think it's orange, but it is that sort of like citrusy, like a cinnamon stick. Oh, maybe. Oh, wow. Oh my god. 
there is a sweetness in it. Like, it's quite sweet. It's like the consistency of it, too, is what's getting me. It's like, I love it. Yeah, it's got some, some nice legs. Look how thick that is. Just rolls down. Ah, it's a beautiful liquid. Mm. Oh, if this was a song, what key would it be in? Mm. I feel like this would be in like a... I'm getting like a, like a nice like C. Wow. Yeah. A bouncy C. Give me a C. A bouncy C. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, right in the pocket there. Just plucking away on a C chord. On the C. Oh. Pulling out muck from the C. Oh. No, I think it'd be a, a diminished minor 12 tone tonic. So I'm, uh, no. I'm not making that up. That's what we all. Look, it's right there. <laughs> oh, God. Arlo, you are never coming back on this show. <laughs> I might want you back on, but I don't think you're coming back on. I don't know why there was a weird jump cut just there. Look <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is this is something very special. This is very special, and I'm assuming that probably a lot of stuff from the whiskey society is is quite special. I'm imagining because that's why they, you know. I mean, this is their stock and trade. Is they get these barrels from all the distilleries yeah. and they hold on to them until they're um, they think they're ready to release. And you know, this is what a 13 year old. No distillery is releasing a 13 year old on their own. Like it's a number that just won't sell. But they tasted it and they were like, oh, something interesting is happening right now. It's time to bottle it. Yeah, I no, I just feel like there's a there's a like a sweetness here and like a just a very much a fruity, like citrusy sweetness to it. Um, yeah, I just I'm gonna say I'm gonna stick with blood orange, but it's definitely sweeter than that. You know, there's I mean there's just it could be like straight up orange in there, just like sweet citrus. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's quite strong. Like it has a bite to it. It for totally sure. does. Yeah. It's like grabbing onto the sides of my mouth, uh -huh. God, hanging I, on for dear life. I'm kind of interested to put water in it. I'll be honest. Um, I um, yeah. I mean, I really like it the way it is, but I, I'm kind of curious what it will do. So I might, I might take, I might, you know, be the one who takes that bullet. Yeah. Take the leap. We all have a little bit more too, so I could yeah. get down a bit and yeah. put water in. So I, the fire stays on my tongue long after in the finish. Yeah. Um, the tongue is, is being attacked. Yeah, it has a strong attack and then a quite lengthy denouement as well. Like the decay. I feel like we keep going to musical terms, but it's like <laughs> there's the attack and the decay. Or, I mean, it is. It's like a waveform yeah. that you can see, you know, where it just like. Yeah, it just keeps it rides with you. I think I did an interpretive dance to a whiskey taste at one point. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I mean, sometimes Fun there's moment. there's only some ways you can describe this, and movement is one of them. Oh, Andrew, yeah, thank you for you know opening up your um, oh, your stock to us because this is this yeah. is this is you know this is what I look for in like you know what I mean. This is just, what just something to out. surprise you. Yeah. I really appreciate uh, both of you having me here. I, is... I appreciate being here. We like you, Arlo. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> It makes me feel good, even though I wore this obnoxious shirt. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> I mean, kind of part of why. Like, <laughs> it just disguises how big a heart you have. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. It's really it. That's very true. You're, you're just a, you're, you're such a great person. And it's not just the whiskey tasting shit I'm talking about. <laughs> or tasting. Come on, people. <laughs> we are friendly people who love a lot of people, so just yeah. simmer down. Yeah. I like to, I, I don't know what it is, but I like to just kind of set it down for a while and just know that it's there, you know what I mean? Like, it's comforting. I don't know why, but I always do this. I like, I sip some and then I set it down and I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. there it is. It's like, it's like it's um, the process. just looking at it and admiring it from a distance or, you know. Well, also know. this way you get to come away from it. You get to refresh your, your yeah. nostrils, refresh your taste buds, let them kind of settle down a bit. And you come back to it and you, it's almost like you're revisiting it again, fresh and, and, and maybe something new comes out to you in the nose. Yeah. That's my theory. No, that's all true. Yeah. <laughs> this episode's called Watching Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I would say these are awkward silences, but they're just silences. They yeah. are in no yeah. way awkward. I don't feel awkward at all. Not at all. Mm. I do think I'm going to try the water now. <gasps> I didn't mean to happen. didn't mean to it's happen. So shocked. Oh my god! Oh, silence! Oh my god! Oh, I think 
I might too. Although this is so, the way it is is so perfect. Mm -hmm. Go on, I'm going for it. Yeah. It's high alcohol, so the water might just open up a little more. And it's oh, interesting nose. to me, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it, the nose has uh, has widened for me. Um, yeah, I, I know what you mean. It's it's It was here and it's here. It's like a Pinocchio. Yeah. Like it's definitely put, it's, it's, it's doing a little Pinocchio thing for me. Yeah, and I think people were tasting this now, they'd know, oh yes, that's, that's, I see that. Yeah, it was definitely more crowded and now there's like more space in the nose. It's, um, yeah, it's opened up. It's kind of like when you knock down um, the wall in your house that separates the living room from the kitchen and then all of a sudden you have like an open concept. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened just now with the water. Yeah. And and like was, before it was- Don't you rent? <laughs> I watch a lot of properties. Oh, okay, hopefully, okay. hopefully your manager is not watching. <laughs> no, you know, it yeah. is, I watch a ton of Property Brothers, but it's it's Property Brothers is always the same. Every episode is the same. Someone's like, "Well, I want to buy a house. This is our, this is my budget." They go, "Okay." Then they show them a house that's like way above their budget, and they're like, "This is way too much this above is, my budget." But this it's is, fantastic. Yeah, and they're like, "Great, we were showing you this just to make sure that this is what you wanted." And then they go and like get some house that's like horrendous. And they're like, but this isn't like anything I wanted at all. And they're it's like, got stairway in the kitchen. What's yeah. the matter? And then they're like, don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna tear down this wall and we're gonna make it nice and an open concept. We're gonna put in granite countertops. And that's literally every episode of the property brothers. <laughs> and it's it's so compelling. I, it really I, is. I agree. They're twins. Yeah. Um and they're Canadian. I have to say, uh, like Toronto. it, it really. I feel like the the it's warmer. Like the, it has warmer flavors to it. There's more fire in there. Like a more mm. comforting sort of warm fire. And I taste pine. Like I taste like this sort mm. of like um like uh, yeah, it's up like a pine forest in there. And I think I'm also getting a bit more of the diesel. Like there's a bit of that you know, kind of yeah. Not in a bad way. This is like you know uh, lumberjacks making you cinnamon pancakes in the morning. You know. <laughs> <laughs> While their chainsaw idols nearby. Right, yeah. Their diesel chainsaw. Their diesel chainsaw. Diesel chainsaw. You know? yeah, they got, they got Why would you have a diesel chainsaw? Those would exist. Have to, those those exist. exist. You'd have to like wear it. It'd be like a backpack or something. It'd be like a Ghostbuster. <laughs> yeah. Or something. My diesel chainsaw. <laughs> no, there was gas. There's gas paint chainsaws. Why wouldn't there be diesel? Isn't diesel? I don't know. I feel like sense. diesel is like for more high power. I don't know, really know the difference yeah, between diesel and regular gas. But isn't it like more? It's more powerful engines or. It doesn't say down there. Yeah. We're I done, can, we're done giving you information. <laughs> Google it yourself. <laughs> we set you free. Mm. Well, I mean, water didn't make it bad. I don't know that I noticed a lot of change except for the, the wider nose. I feel like the flavor is a bit wider too. I like it with water. Yeah, I'm. I'm I like it the other way though too. So, yeah. Yeah, I can go both ways as well on this one. Yeah. Like it's it's different. Hard to quantify exactly how different. I feel like it's more open, like there's more, um, like before it was like a Rick, kind of like a, a sharp raging fire and now it's like a warm sort of fire surrounding mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And also I feel like with, with without the water, it was like kind of sweeter and like, you know, like a fireball, like, ooh, like fireball whiskey, but not like mm. that because it's much more delicious. <clears throat> and this is more like a, like a piney sort of open cinnamon, you know, sort of sweetness, mm -hmm. so. Open cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. wow. There you go. 58.4. Sad to say goodbye. Yeah. Last yeah. little bits. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing the mm -hmm. uh, Gary McAdam special. Yes. Well, um, we could finish here. Or there's Seeker Option 3. Five? Seeker Option 5. Did you say Seeker Option? I did. Option? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> you were just going to go with that. Yeah. No, what's what we call it? We always have a Seeker Option. Seeker Option. You know, because you're seeking whiskey. It's a Seeker Option. <laughs> Come here, Andrew. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we could do secret option number five. Secret option number five. Yeah, let's do secret option number five. Let's uh, just call it that. Let's just call it that. This is, uh, this is, uh, something that...
<laughs> he's right now he's he's playing hockey with me. 